Alright, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Late Night. We're now on part 37, and as you can see, I'm building a new house for the Clementines. Anyways, the game will start soon, so see you then. Okay, well, I'm a little low on cash now, only 3,259 simoleons, so, um, yeah, I kind of didn't expect to run out of cash. <laughs> so we still have a lot of empty space downstairs and upstairs as well. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with all this space, but I'll, I'm sure I'll figure something out. Once I get more money, I'll buy more objects, but, um, yes, if you couldn't tell, this over here is Matthew and Shirley's bedroom. This over here is Josie's new bedroom. This is um, what looks like Scout's, I just realized, because, you know, it's all blue and stuff. But this is actually Garbage's room. I know his favorite color is actually green. But Josie's uh, room was already green, and I don't know, I didn't want two green rooms in the same floor. But the plan is that I'm going to have um, both Scout and T live over here. Um, they'll probably only take up the second floor, and the first floor I'll probably make... Um, like the new at home lounge slash bar even though we already have two bars downstairs over here I don't know you can never have enough that way we can make drinks wherever we want and then the plan for this over here is to actually make this into a basement and have some stairs go underground where um, that way Josh and uh, Mercury have like a little bit of a secret lair to go sleep in because they are vampires but uh, yeah our house isn't finished. It looks finished from the outside. I don't really see anything else. Oh, well, we do want to put a hot tub over here and maybe like a barbecue and some lounge chairs over here. But other than that, the outside is pretty much done. I just have to um, finish the other rooms first. I think once I get more money, I'll definitely... Oh, um, for now, I just put these beds over here for Scout. T and uh, Josh and Mercury to sleep on, and then uh, once I get more money, yeah, fill out those. I'll probably fill out Scout and T's house first, and then uh, Josh and Mercury's last because that one's gonna cost the most with the basement tool and all. But um, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on with the game. Oh, before I forget though, I did bring Blingaboo. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. I had to locate him first in the freaking high-rise house, and then I put him in my inventory and brought him back. Oh, and also, Lola is still with us, don't worry. Her urn is over here by the recycle bin. And, um, I also made sure to look at the, uh, mail with Matthew, and, uh, we have a bunch of certificates, because Josh maxed out all of his, um, instrument skills, so he has, uh, four reward certificates. And Josie has one because she maxed out her mixology skill, so we're going to put this in her room over here by her computer disc that desk that's missing a uh, computer. And um, I think that's about it. Uh, if you didn't notice, I bought the plot of land over here. I said in the very first part, if you were in a private household, you should just live here because no one can get to you, which is pretty much the truth. It used to be a park, but I actually transformed it into a house. And as you can see, it's a long, 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 long drive to get to the city. But that's okay. I don't really mind it that much. Um, we'll still go to the clubs. I think we've been to every single club. We've been to Aquarius multiple times, that's where we met T. We've been to the Prosper Room two times, Scout got kicked out, and um, Scout did make friends with a celebrity here. We've been to Plasma 501, that's where we brawled with Matthew. We've been to UG's, uh, that's where Josh and uh, Scout were dancing on the tables. We've 
up into the sports zone. That's where we met um, Matthew. We've been to the Brightmoor. That's the underground dance club that uh, both uh, Matthew and Shirley went to. And Josie moonlighted there for a little while. Let's see, is there any other clubs that we haven't been to? We own that club or bar or whatever. I don't think we've been to this one over here, The Grind. It's open from 6 p.m. and it closes till 8 in the morning. Hmm, well, a lot of people are in a good mood, so in a celebration of our new house, we're not going to spend it at our house because it's still kind of <laughs> not finished, but we will go with. Uh, I don't think teenagers can go into these, but eh, we'll just try whatever. We'll go with everyone. This is going to be one hell of a trip. So I'm going to fast forward time. Oh, well, look at them. I think they are all in the limousine. Pretty fancy. Pretty, pretty fancy. Well, we should be arriving to... Oh, we took the limousine all the way to go to the subway station. <laughs> oh, wait, but now we're going back in the limousine? And we're ditching everyone else. <laughs> Matthew's like, screw you guys. I'm taking my own limousine. Uh... Yeah, I guess he just dropped everyone off in the middle of the city. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I didn't tell him to do that. Well, what the hell? Hold on, all right, fine, we'll have a uh, visit with... Oh, wait, cancel. That's the wrong thing. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, a lot of people are in a bad mood, uh, including Shirley. Well, we'll just take Josh and Josie then. And then we'll have a scout. Oh, wait, I meant for T to go too. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. So this is the grind, eh? Cool. It's got some, uh, like, techno music going on. Let's have a... Uh, Matthew, go dance a little bit. Oh, what's going on? I think he's waiting for everyone else to arrive soon. There we go. Okay. Well, let's see. We'll have Josie go moonlight. Even though there's really no one here. Oh, no, there's one person over here. I'm gonna go do some dancing. Oh. Who's this girl, anyways? It's Katrina. Oh, Yes. Very cool. Oh, crap. Garbage. You better go home soon. Curfew soon. You too. I told them to go home already. I don't know why they're not there yet. Let's see. Is uh, Josie making drinks? Oh, what the heck? Congratulations. Matthew has learned enough traits about others to complete... Oh. A skill challenge. Alright. Oh, no one's ordering drinks. Oh, it's that a lady. I remember you. <laughs> hmm. Come on, order a drink from Josie. Here we go, this lady's uh, ordering something from us. Oh, food. That's great. Are those onion rings? Yes, yes they are. Best food in the world. Oh, let's see, is Scout gonna order a drink? Or is he ordering food? Oh, he's ordering hot wings. Lame. Alright, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, let's get everyone to go home. Because they're not that great in the mood. We definitely should um, steal some things too though. Let's see, I wonder if anyone's home. How about one of our new rich neighbors? It might be too late to visit anyone, but there is someone home over here. So we'll try to go over here and uh, ring the doorbell. Maybe with Josh. Josh is in a better mood. He's just a little sleepy. Oh, who's this? Someone just entered over here. Oh, it's Sugar lived here. Okay. Oh man, Scott's in a bad mood. <laughs> oh, whatever. They'll get home. Oh, I guess I should assign them their beds really quick. Before I forget, because I have yet to do this. So let's see. Um, T, go sleep over here. Shirley, sleep there. Matthew, sleep there. Josie, sleep there. Uh, Scout, sleep over there. 
Okay, she's already sleeping. And garbage bag, go sleep over there. See us, everyone, go and go sleep, sleep, sleep. Just got Josh. Yes, okay. Well, let's see. Josh is almost on his way over there so that he can go try to maybe steal something. So hopefully, a car. That's the goal. And who knows, maybe like a TV or something. Because I did forget to pick up that awesome TV that we got sent to us for being celebrities. But oh well. Oh look, he was just over there at the club, wasn't he? Let us in. Okay, now, the garage is over here. Oh, and there's some fancy cars over here. Oops, let's go swipe something. Alright, can't we go through this way? Let's see. Open. Ho ho ho. Okay. Now, quick. Oh no, there's someone in this stupid room, isn't there? Sugar. Okay, there. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Hopefully he'll get a car. Oh my god. Damn it. Go away. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> steal something, Josh. Oh no, don't steal stupid bar stools. Oh crap. Who cares? Steal the car. I don't care if you get kicked out. I think we're probably going to get kicked out. Oh no, we didn't. Alright, try it again. Oh yeah. We got kicked out. I don't care. We got a car. It's all good. Uh, we'll get Josh to go home now, and um, we'll definitely buy him his own vampire bed now, because I know the other one's being occupied by Mercury. So it's going to buy mode. And we will sell that card that we just got, and that bar stool. So let's see. We now have 10,571 simoleons. Awesome. And uh, uh, there's no more room here, really, so I'll just put it here for now. I don't really care. Um, 8,000 simoleons. I'm gonna wait a little more until I start attempting remodeling the house. I think once I have about maybe like 20,000 is when I'll start remodeling again. Cause uh, yeah, no really point in doing it right to now. Yes, let's have Josh go home and go sleep on his bed. Cause he definitely deserves some rest. His freaking energy is all the way down. And um, I do want to hire a maid. So, uh, oh, we, we don't need to call him right now, but next time I'll definitely remember to uh, hire a maid. And the cool thing about living at this lot is that they have this positive moodlet of living in a beautiful vista. So they get plus 20 mood, which is really nice. Everyone's just really sleepy and hungry from being at the club where there was really no nothing going on. But, eh, that's alright. Um, alright, so Matthew should be um, leveling up soon. And you know what? I think it's time that we're going to start um, aging up these people. I'm going to age up Scout because um, he's, I think, technically he's supposed to be like the oldest one. Uh, well, not the oldest one, but out of the original four people he is. Uh, we won't grow up, what's his face, Josh, because he's a vampire. And, uh, you know, they're supposed to be immortal or whatever, or just be able to live really long. And um, after Scout grows up, eventually we'll have Josie grow up first because her zodiac sign comes before Shirley's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because Shirley's a Scorpio. Scorpio doesn't. It's like October, November. So, yeah. Alright, anyways, let's have a Scout to blow out the candles. I hope that his outfit stays the same. If not, I'm going to have to change it so that he looks more like his original self. But um, he should be fine. Alright, so whatever. I don't know if people are going to come cheer for him or not, but either way I don't care. I think I heard a ghost noise somewhere. Huh? Pretty sure. Lola's out there somewhere. I can sense it. <laughs> oh, and they're hungry. Fine, whatever. You guys can eat cake. It's all good. <laughs> people are rushing down the elevator to come and uh, wish Scout a happy birthday. Oh, there he goes. Please don't look any different. Okay, good. <laughs> That's fine. Let's uh, change his appearance. Or not his appearance. Let's change him to his everyday wear and hopefully he'll still have his hat on. Uh, change outfit. Everyday. Oh yeah, he still doesn't have his hat. <laughs> Alright, well when we come back I'm definitely going to give Scout back his um, hat. 
and um, everyone is going to feast on cake. But that's all for now, so I'll see you guys next time.